Eva, we are in a, for me, we are in a special period of the art market, contemporary art market. So what's your diagnostic about what's going on with contemporary art and with your artists now on the market? Well, you know, every artist has his own life and also his own market life. I prefer slow burners. I had, over my 30 years uh, career as an art dealer, starting with a one person gallery to now, uh, slow burners like Fish Levi's or Franz West had a very great possibility to really do what they wanted. They were never pushed by markets. They had a fabulous life because they always made enough money anyway. But uh, they could think and still their work is still evolving because Peter Fishley uh, as an artist makes still work now and is still discovered by younger generations again and again. Yeah, but so, there's, there's some kind of excitement today for kind of young artists with very high prices and all the artists very pertinent still have kind of low prices, no? Well, compared to Joe Bradley's prices and uh, prices of uh, Wade Guyton, uh, who are the same generation, well, they had, the, first of all, they're very talented. I have to say the same talent in the artists I mentioned before. But they, their career started, uh, let's say, within a period where our, our auction houses uh, found out, together with investment collectors, how they could make money in short term by using talented and untalented artists at the same time uh, to uh, push whatever they can out of them, money-wise. So when did so, that happen? Well, that happened the last, I would say, it started in the mid-2000s, it's going up to now, to every auction the same. And there were some artists who were heated up that way. Mm. It, it was not the artists themselves, it was just collectors, and auction houses who could see the potential for an artist to be heated up and that happened there so you one one thing is you have to be always very careful would you sell the artworks too okay but so it happened to wade guyton right yeah but wade, wade is probably not i mean he, he has also a higher prices now but i think he, his market is better protected because he did go to mega galleries. He never left Petzl, Gisela Capitain, Francesca Pia. So he, he was not spread out to this kind of uh, collectors who just wanna make a million more two years later. So he was more lucky than others, you know? So you so. complain about these collector investors? Oh, I don't complain, I don't, just don't find them too sympathetic. Uh, I don't think they have anything to do with knowledge of art and, 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 and they should not have a say. And you basically. don't sell to them? Uh, very rarely, uh, out of mistakes probably. Yeah, yeah. Merci. <laughs>